Hey Internet YouTube, welcome back. This is day number three for me on uh, RAD 140 and I'm giving my reviews, benefits, side effects, and whatever. And I'm Shimmy Cash. You could follow along and share this video if it helps you, etc. All right, now for those of you who might have missed part number one or part number two, RAD 140 is a SARM that I am experimenting on and this is day number three of 50. Um, reporting mostly my benefits and side effects or whatever, right? So today I went running as usual. I felt more strength power towards like the last 60-70% of my workout where I'm doing a rather steep uphill section. It was a little difficult the last two days, but it's gotten easier and easier for me and uh, today it was pretty it was like the easiest day so far so something that's normally mildly challenging for me is getting very very easy to just push through without a second thought you know I don't even I was sweating by the end of the run but I wasn't actually I could I could probably do a whole another 10k right after it like it was not taxing on my body but again the weather today wasn't too too bad so that was a good plus on the benefit as far as downsides now, I know people want to hear about the negative side effects and whatever. I have noticed that uh, my balls feel slightly smaller. I would say like a, re a visible and physical reduction in size of like fucking at least 10% or more difference or whatever. No joke. No joke. Um, I would say my, my dick's gotten bigger, but my balls gotten slightly smaller, which is actually okay with me or whatever. But I mean important to note this and I'm not bullshitting this is just something that I randomly notice I didn't read this etc uh, when I normally do my research about stuff that I buy and order off the internet I try not to delve too deeply into many of the side effects of things because I don't want for my brain to be tainted by placebo information you know what I'm saying if you read that something will make your hand itch you're gonna try it and most likely you're gonna feel like oh my hands itchy or something like that so this is unbiased and I have no history and looking this up is just something that I noticed I noticed by day number three my balls are slightly smaller um, sex drives on the up hunger is on the extreme up I'm super duper hungry I don't think I remember eating this much since like since Vegas buffets before lockdown and I'm very hungry so I've had a lot of poke bowls a lot of coffee a lot of fucking paperos and biscuits and yesterday I ate a whole package of coconut cookies all by myself like a big fucking package like like four dollar package at the grocery store but still a large size cereal box size of coconut cookies I eat all by myself entirely and usually I don't do that that might last me for a couple days usually so my hunger has been on the up my energy level is definitely increased and improved and uh, yeah so yeah if you can deal with the hunger and whatever it's really good um, I have to notice I haven't noticed much cutting or definition improvement in the mirror or whatever it looks like my abs are actually getting slightly wider if that makes any sense, I, I know for a fact a lot of times um, I took creatine many, many years ago and stopped taking it because I realized it was making my abs bigger but wider, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I'm not trying to get more wide already. I'm a short motherfucker already. I don't want to look squatting like a block. So, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to be with this if it's making me look wider or whatever. I'm not noticing, this is, my, this is definitely not a product for fat loss so far as I can tell. I haven't scaled myself yet. I did yesterday at 177.2. I'll do so again tomorrow or whatever. I'll scale myself probably two to three times a week just to track changes or whatever. Um, but yeah, whatever. So we'll see if this, this is definitely making me a better runner, which is uh, good for me. But like again, if, if it make, makes me put on more mass, especially where I don't want it, then it's not a product that I can use or endorse or whatever. Uh, my goal again is to have really strong legs, running cardio endurance with minimal upper body tone or muscle. I like to be toned, but not. I'm not doing no curls or bench or whatever. No upper body workouts whatsoever is my goal. Yeah. So just the way I'm doing it for me. But uh, that's my side effects so far from this arms uh, RAD 140, day number three. I'll give more follow-ups as more detailed information comes up. But overall, I'm feeling great. Just hungry, happy, horny, the usual me. But it's like, I will note that on the bottle it says that it will imp it improves your general outlook on life, and that is partially true. Ding dong, hello. hello. Ah, hello, it's Mr. Kai. I'm doing a, doing a YouTube right now still. So, um, 
anyway i'll wrap it up thanks for watching and if i have anything else more to report on this new thing i'm doing rad 140 or whatever we'll uh update it later or whatever all right ciao see you later if you like subscribe share bye all right what's going on dude my anime shirt came in the mail your anime shirt came in the mail yes all right